What's up guys, it's Coach Reeves with PR Strength. Today I'm gonna to do an equipment review with the Rogue Rhino Belt Squat. So some of the benefits of this for my facility is that if I have an athlete come in and they've got a shoulder issue, a wrist issue, really any upper body type issue, instead of barbell squatting, we can put them on the safety squat or put them on the rope belt squat and the belts around their hips and we really don't have to worry too much about anything being agitated in the upper body. Um, there's a ton of other good benefits. You can do a million different things with it, which we'll show you some of those things in this video. But to start out, just how you set it up. I see a lot of guys do this differently. Here's how I get my athletes into it. This is the belt it comes with. It is three different settings. So there's small, medium, and large are essentially the settings it has. Right now it's set up for medium for me. What you do is set the belt down on the ground, pull the belt up. For this, everybody's a little bit different. I have the belt sit above my waistline. Some people will have it sit right at the waistline. I think that's personal preference and what feels best for the athlete. But for me, I'm up a little bit. Then from here, what you want to do is you step up on the belt squat, platform, get your feet set before you unwrap. You stand through and you see this rhino horn right here. That's what is holding the weight from going, right? So that's the safety or lock mechanism. You take the handles, you pull, and then from here, you're free to squat. Right? So you can use this kind of like a half yoke squat where you're holding on and having a little bit of support for your upper body. Or you can lightly hold on and still go through the squat motion. For the rope belt squat, you kind of do have to hold on because you'll see if I don't, it might not do it right now. But there's a tendency for this to rack itself. So that is one of the flaws, I guess you could say. It tends to fall in, but that's kind of how you get in and get out. How you get out, you rack it here, step off, let the belt slide off, and you're done there. So loading it up, it can be a little annoying because the loading pins are behind. But back here, I got the weight tree right here. You just take the plates. You can load it evenly or unevenly. It doesn't really matter. It all pulls from this mechanism right here, this pulley system. So you could, I wouldn't recommend putting 10 plates on one side and zero on the other, but it could be two and zero or one and one. It's whatever you, whatever you need to do. Um, easy to load up. And then again, just going through the motion, you put the belt on, you stand on, unrack and go. So for this piece of equipment, it is, I think it's $1,750. There's definitely a ton of pros for it. I'll go over some of the negatives. One of the negatives is I did have one of these rolling pins right here. It, it broke. Rogue was great about resending me a new one, which is fine, customer service is great there, but it did break. This is a high use mas machine in my facility, so it gets a lot of usage, but you know, these, I don't know if it was a matter of I had a, a broken, or one was weak or something like that, but one did break on me. Another thing that tends to happen is down here on this, rolling system right here, whatever you want to call it, this tends to come off track. It's probably happened about 15 times where the cable comes into that little slot and it's not on the, on the rolling track. So you got to get underneath it, you got to pull on the, the cable and make it come undone. It's kind of annoying. The other thing which I kind of already talked about was when you try to do a hands-free, so if I'm just trying to go hands-free and pull on this, it, this is a tendency to rack itself. So that can be annoying if you're trying to, because you could load up a dumbbell or do something like that where you have something up top and you're doing the belt squat at the same time. It makes it kind of difficult to do that. Um, you know, as far as any other negatives, I think that's all. There's a ton of pros to this though. This comes with just the belt. So I could do another video of all the different things you can do with different attachments because I have a lap pull down and a ton of attachments over there. But with the belt, I'll show you guys a few movements that you can do. So I'll show you a few movements you can do with added attachments. I've got two basic ones I have in my gym. So this is the Rogue tricep handles, and then this is just a little easy bar that you can attach to this. 
I'll show you a few movements with, with each thing that you can do. First thing I'll do when I end adding other bars or other attachments, I unwrap this. Let this fall down to the ground. Make sure you watch your fingers. And then I take the rhino horn off. All right, so take that off. It just makes it easier to do things. So you don't have to rack and unwrap. This piece of equipment for me, super beneficial. It's gotten a ton of use in my gym. It costs about 1800 bucks and you pay a little bit more for shipping, but I would buy it again. And you see it's more than just a belt squad. If you have different attachments, you can do a ton of different things. Before I had my lat pull down and seated row combo from Titan Fitness, which there's a review if you guys want to see that. I used to use this for seated rows and things like that. All you have to do is put your feet on the edge of the belt squat platform and you can do, a, you can do that stuff. Um, the cable's super strong, no issues with it mechanically other than that little rolling pin breaking, which was a quick, super quick fix, and that cable coming off, but you know, the stuff happens with equipment, still super good. I recommend it. If you have the budget, go ahead and purchase this piece of equipment. Thanks for tuning in. Like and subscribe. Subscribe to the channel, like the video. Um, doing a lot of different videos on the channel, so if you guys want to see more equipment reviews, let me know. Those get a lot of views. The training videos, those are getting some more views, but let me know what you guys would like to see.